We have to strike now, sir. Annihilate. Kill. 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Go. Oh, now you just made it weird. We were having fun until the killing everybody thing. One of the first things visitors to Russia will do is log on. Hackers here are counting on it. So we decided to find out how dangerous that can be. Kyle, hey. welcome to Moscow. Yeah, thank you. With the help of Kyle Wilhoit, a top American computer security expert, and two brand new computers. For the purpose of this experiment, we start out with these fresh machines and gonna see what happens when you turn them on in Russia. Exactly. Back in the U.S., Will Hoyt had created a fake identity for me. Phony contact lists with fake names and addresses. The only real detail, my name. So you're putting my profile on these computers. Uh, that's exactly right. With our new computers, now loaded with potentially attractive data, we headed for a restaurant where we used a new smartphone to browse for information about the Sochi Olympics. Almost immediately, we were hacked. So as you're going to it, did you see where it said downloading? Yeah, I did. Right. It's actually downloading a piece of malware. Malicious software hijacked our phone before we even finished our coffee. Stealing my information and giving hackers the option to tap and record my phone calls. Anything I say on this will endanger my financial security, maybe even my physical security, even physical, depending on who's listening. Exactly. Kaspersky Labs, one of the largest computer security companies in the world, is charged with protecting the games. But experts here say visitors will bring so many devices, the hackers will have plenty of targets. All this needs protection, of course, because every, every segment of this huge, huge, huge infrastructure can be under attack. Back at the hotel, Will Hoyt was using specialized software to monitor my two computers. Going to that and sure enough, they'd also been hacked. You were able to tell yes. that very, very quickly somebody was poking around. Exactly. It had taken hackers less than one minute to pounce. Within 24 hours, they'd broken into both computers and started helping themselves to my data. So where is this information going? That computer in particular, the traffic is actually going to a server within Russia. American athletes and fans now coming to Russia by the thousands are entering a minefield the instant they log on to the Internet. The best way to protect yourself, Brian, is actually quite simple. If you don't really need a device, don't bring it. Try and avoid the public Wi-Fi. And if there's anything particularly and uniquely important on your computer or phone, banking information, photographs, remove it before coming to Russia. Americans, other visitors, as they say, have been warned. Richard Engel in Sochi will see you over there. Boy, they should have the Olympics in the USA where your phones and computers will be hacked, but, you know, by the NSA. Oh! We are the police! I'm here, but if you touch my junk, I'm gonna have you arrested. Don't tase me, bro! Oh!